I took my first tennis lesson uh, out at Houghton Park in Long Beach uh, through Clyde Walker, who was really a great inspiration to me, wonderful teacher. And I got in the car, and my mom picked me up from the lesson. I said, Mother, this is it. I found exactly what I'm going to do. How did you know? I just knew it. I knew the first time I dropped the ball and I hit it. I said, this is it. I love it. I just loved it. And I said, I want to be world's champion. Of course, when I said that, my mother goes, that's fine, dear. <laughs> you know, <laughs> driving home. Mm -hmm. But I knew that I found what I wanted. Over the course of her career, Billie Jean King achieved major accomplishments and equality in respect for women. Through various endeavors, she shifted the importance of women's sports across the United States. Her most well-known accomplishment may have been the Battle of the Sexes, played on September 20, 1973, when she took a stand as she triumphed over Bobby Riggs. But her reach went well beyond that victory. King created the Virginia Slims Women's Tennis Store and began the Women's Tennis Association. These achievements and many others improved equal opportunities for women's tennis and earned respect for women in America. In the late 1900s, all across America, women were viewed as weak and inferior to men. The women's liberation movement had started throughout the United States, protesting prejudice against women. In 1972, the government began to take action and pass a law, Title IX, outlawing discrimination based on sex. Despite this improvement, women still did not receive equal pay for equal work. In 1957, when Billie Jean King was 14, she won her first Juniors Championship. For the next 15 years, King would continually succeed in her tennis career. In 1961, Billie Jean competed in her first Wimbledon tournament, and in 1966, she won her first singles title. Over the course of her career, King won a total of 37 Grand Slam titles. For this, Sports Illustrated magazine named her Sportswoman of the Year, and Sports Magazine deemed her Tennis Player of the Year. When King won the Women's Singles Championship in 1972, she got only one-sixth of the prize money that the male winner received. King knew and publicly stated that this inequality was not acceptable. She was not willing to tolerate the unjust treatment like many others before her had. King and eight other female tennis stars broke off from the United States Lawn Tennis Association to form the Virginia Slims Tennis Tour. These daring women each signed $1 contracts and formed the first ever women's only tennis tour. On May 14, 1973, Margaret Court, an Australian tennis star and the number one female player in the world, was challenged by Bobby Riggs to a tennis face-off. Bobby Riggs was a former tennis star, 55 at the time, and a heavy gambler. This was a tennis match between a middle-aged man and an Australian star at her best. The prize was $10,000, winner take all. By all accounts, Bobby Riggs was a chauvinist pig, a man who believed that women were lesser than men. Because of lack of effort or lack of determination on the side of Margaret Court, Riggs won the match with ease. It later came to be known as the Mother's Day Massacre. After the easy victory, Riggs took the opportunity to challenge an avowed feminist to the Battle of the Sexes. King agreed and they set the match for September 20th, 1973 with a $100,000 prize. She knew this match was not about the money or tennis. The match was about social change. If she won, there would be a chance for gender equality. If she lost, to many people, women would always be viewed as lesser than men. Well, I think it's going to be pretty close. However, I saw Bobby beat Margaret, and I think that he's really a tough player. Uh, three out of five sets. I favor Bobby Riggs. Riggs obviously has all the shots, but I'm I am hoping uh, so much that she ends up the winner of that contest. To say there is no way that a good woman can beat a fairly good man. There are 500 college players in America that can beat Billie Jean King. I think Billie Jean did do. Yeah. But, uh, Billie Jean King is a, an excellent player. Uh, I think that besides that, she's a, she's a beautiful lady, <laughs> and I like beautiful ladies. King practiced as much as possible. She practiced running fast and placing her shots so her opponent, who was several years older than her, would have to run. Uh, I try to win for all the guys around the world who feel as I do, that the male is king, the male is supreme. I've said it over and over again. I still feel that way. Girls play a nice game of tennis for girls. But when they get out there on a court with a man, even a tired old man of 55, they're going to be in big trouble. You following is an exclusive presentation of ABC Sports, live from the Astrodome in Houston, Texas, the tennis battle of the sexes, Billie Jean King versus Bobby Riggs. When the day of the match came, 30,000 people crowded into the Houston Astrodome. 
and another 50 million watched on television. Many thought that the circus-like atmosphere of the stadium would get to King. She proved them all wrong. King won by a landslide, 6-4, 6-3, 6-3. Guys were going around saying, well, of course this old guy could beat her, and, and of course she's not that good. She's a girl. And, and so for her to win was very empowering. I remember going to school the next day, and, and the girls I knew were so pumped up. They were so excited. Uh, it felt like we could say to the guys, look, we can do it. We've been telling you that. We can do whatever you whatever we want to do and put our minds to it. So it was, it was just huge. It was really major. And she really, I mean, she's always been my hero since then. Women all over the world were inspired by Billie Jean's performance. Women began to gain respect and started changing people's minds about female equality. Little girls across the country picked up tennis rackets and began to play sports. The event made people pay more attention to tennis and elevated Billie Jean King's public voice. She now had the attention she needed to speak out on important issues of the time. Um, so Billie Jean King stands out um, in not only tennis history, women's sports history, um, civil rights and quality history because she was never shy about um, standing up for what she believed in um, and helping those who maybe didn't necessarily have a voice. After the legendary match, King did not stop working for women's rights. King founded the Women's Tennis Association and served as its president for four years. This organization finally united all of women's tennis and offered equal prize money for men and women. King continued to promote the popularity of women's tennis and advocated for equality for female athletes. Because of the WTA, female tennis players would finally be treated with more equality. Although equal treatment could not be achieved immediately, the creation of the WTA was a huge step for women's tennis. After retiring from professional tennis in 1984, King and her husband promoted co-ed team tennis. She has also been active in charitable events. King remained closely tied to the sport throughout the 1990s as a television commentator. She also served as the coach of the U.S. women's team at the 1996 and 2000 Summer Olympics, whose members included Venus Williams, Serena Williams, and many others. In 2006, the New York City facility that hosts the U.S. Open was renamed after Billie Jean King. Her accomplishments have gone beyond the world of tennis. She has been honored by an array of organizations, notably earning the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2009, presented by former President Barack Obama. Billie Jean King really stood out uh, among other athletes for various reasons. She was an incredible tennis player and she was very successful, but she was able to use her celebrity and her tennis popularity to help other women in tennis. Now, a lot of athletes are just out for themselves, but Billie Jean always had this larger vision that she really wanted to be able to use her success as a way of laying the groundwork for other women professionals. We honor what she calls all of the off the court stuff to change how women athletes and women everywhere view themselves and to give everyone regardless of gender or sexual orientation, including my two daughters, a chance to compete both on the court and in life. Billie Jean King and her contribution to the second wave of feminism helped to change the face of women's sports and the feminist movement forever. Feminism brought into the public eye many strong-willed women, but Billie Jean King was the most well-known advocate for equality in sports. In signing a $1 contract with the Virginia Slims tour at the height of her career, King declared to the world the importance of equality. Though many men tried to stop the creation of the Women's Tennis Association and deemed it unnecessary, King fought to the finish for equality in tennis. Today, the men and women's tours still remain separate in titles, but King's determination gave women their own tour. As for a match against Bobby Riggs, this showdown had a huge symbolic meaning. King made sure that the match was taken seriously. For King, stepping onto the court with Riggs was not for entertainment, but a step for women in society and in sports. The feminist movement and Billie Jean King's work left America a radically different society. The movement allowed Billie Jean King, an ambitious heroic figure, to create a successful career by giving her attention to the causes she cared greatly about. Women's power and gender equality. Any ball you can hit, I can hit harder. I can hit any ball harder than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can hit such smart lobs and shape until your heart.